Graph theory is in area of research in computer science in which we study complex interactions between entities. My name is Mudassar Shabit. I am an associate professor at Computer Science Department at Information Technology University, Lahore. I got my MS and PhD degrees from Rutgers University, New Jersey, USA, which is a top-ranking university in the area of theoretical computer science. My research work, which has resulted in many publications at top venues, is funded by Higher Education Commission Pakistan, Punjab Higher Education Commission, and ITU. Along with many theoretical problems with far-reaching impact, we are also working on locally relevant problems with the help of students at Information Technology University. I head a theory group and acoustics lab at ITU. We recently published an interesting work at the famous Sky conference. In this work, we try to recognize emotion in spoken Urdu language. So we built systems that can tell whether someone is speaking in a happy tone or a sad tone or an angry tone. This work has many applications. For example, you can use this work to tell whether a given feedback over a phone call is a positive feedback or a negative feedback without actually understanding the words in that phone call. This work can also be used to detect hate speech and to find out whether there is a bias in a spoken entertainment media towards a section of society. My main area of research is to find applications of mathematical graph theory in practical problems. In the past, we have used mathematical modeling to find influential users on social networks like YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook. This type of work is extremely valuable to advertising agencies who might be interested in viral dissemination of certain content. Election campaigns are an excellent example of applications of this type of work. I'm also part of Crime Investigation and Prevention Lab at ITU. In this lab, we are trying to help law enforcement agencies to fight crime using mathematical modeling. In this work, we are also trying to find out how to optimally allocate the resources so that the response time to a crime event should be minimized. So you see, math can be used to predict future as well. Um, this really fascinates me. If it also fascinates you and you find yourself interested in mathematical problem solving, I welcome you to join the theory group at ITU.